grab your pistol and your knife and rush to the only room without a window. You then quickly barricade the door with anything you could find, mainly a bed, a dresser, and a nightstand. You know, it's here. They or he, you don't know what it is. You just know it's looking for you. You quietly but quickly rush to the farthest corner of the room. Then you hear pots and pans crashing to the floor. A loud ear-piercing screech from the kitchen. You then hear doors banging open, banging sounds coming from every single room. You hear and feel vibrations of the creature stomping on the other side of the door. You then start to clutch the gun in your left hand and the knife in your right. Everything gets quiet. Nothing, not even the sound of deep breathing reaches your ears for a good ten minutes. You don't move a muscle. You don't even breathe. You wait a little more, just to be sure you're safe. Two hours pass by, not even a peep, not a sound. You let out a sigh of relief, and just when you thought you were alone, you hear multiple voices in different tones say, I knew you were in there. Behind you, you quickly get away from the wall to see the words written in blood on the wall that read, Your soul belongs to me. Just then, a multitude of hands reach out from all four of the walls surrounding you and grabs your legs and arms. Unable to move, you yell for help, hoping someone will hear you. But you will know it's pointless. You feel the horrible pain of your hands holding you as they start to tear apart. You yell louder and louder with every crack and pop coming from each limb being torn off your body. First your legs, then your arms. Then they tear your body into half. You feel the blood gushing on your face and you feel every blood organ being pulled from inside you. You start to yell for the pain to stop and start to cry tears of blood. Nothing could help you now. Blood was all over the walls and on what was left of you. You start to feel cold because of the air circulating in your chest. As you take your last breath, you see a little girl with pale skin and no eye in a white dress laughing as if she enjoyed your pain. And the last words you hear are, you shall be fun for me to be fun for life. <laughs>